You don't need a diet to lose weight. You don't need to be on a diet. That's it. I said it. I know. Controversial. A lot of people think that you have to be on a diet so you can lose weight. No, 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 no. All you have to do is eat less food than what you're eating right now. You can even still eat the same foods. You can even still eat freaking donuts if you want to do that every morning for breakfast from Dunkin' Donuts or, you know, Starbucks, which they don't have donuts, but, you know, they have their paninis, which are great. Turkey pesto panini, shout out to that. You can eat all of that. Like, the only thing that you have to be doing is eating in less portions. Now, yeah, that sounds easy, right? It is actually uh, the easiest thing ever because all you have to do is to control your emotions a lot of people eat for emotional reasons or a lot of people eat for um, i don't know the the fact that they don't have anything else going on and they're bored but if you turn your life around if you are concentrating your energy towards different things different goals if you have something going on for your life other than eating you'll be able to lose weight i know it might sound a little harsh but the reason why i'm going over this is because the amount of people that I talk to on a daily basis in the fitness world, work life and whatever, uh, and they say, oh, you know, it's hard for me to get on a diet. I say, sure, sure, sure. I, but who told you that you have to be on a diet? I know who told you. The freaking society. Everyone talks about being on a diet, the uh, paleo diet or like, I don't know, uh, freaking the one that you eat all ads right you don't have to do that and at the end of the day all of those diets they have one common thing they put you in a calorie deficit now let's ask someone smarter than you and i let's ask chat gpt what is a calorie deficit calorie deficit occurs when you consume fewer calories than your body needs to maintain its current weight this can lead to weight loss as the body begins to use store fat for energy deficit can be created by reducing calorie intake increasing physical activity or a combination of both. What this means is like, if you are eating something, you know, that's energy, right? Like you should know that by now. The amount of energy that you put in has to be less than the amount of energy that you put out. Why? Because you have store energy. Your fat is store energy. You've been storing energy for a long time, and that's why you look the way you look. Hopefully, if you're watching this, you understand that I'm not attacking you. All I'm trying to do is to make you understand, make you comprehend that you don't need to be on a diet to lose weight. All you have to do is be in a calorie deficit. Obviously, in the comment section, I'll see a lot of few people saying, well, I have hyperthyroid. Sure, there's some specific cases. That, that would be like the 1% of people. And once you understand that you don't have to be in, I think I've said it like 5,000 times in this video, you don't have to be on a diet. All you have to do is just eat less than what you're currently eating right now for at least two weeks and you'll see how the weight scale will go down first of all water weight will go down and then you know if you're exercising of course you'll be able to see some uh, body fat going out of your body a lot of people think that losing weight is very difficult but you know it's not difficult it's just mm, complex complicated if you never know what kind of things are in the food. So if you don't know your food, if you don't know what kind of calories you're eating, how would you know? How would you be able to, I don't know, lose weight? I'm going to be reacting to this video that I found about losing weight is easy. Actually, I only saw a few minutes of it and I decided to make a video reaction on it because I can. Also, make sure to hit the like button if you enjoy natural bodybuilding and if you do enjoy pandas because that's what this guy is. There's always a spark that makes you decide you want to change. And it's usually seeing someone else who's way more fit than you, or seeing yourself in a picture. Either way, inspiration is strong, but only ever lasts for a day, and then it's gone. So what you need next is a realistic goal that you can measure, as well as a time you need to achieve it by. For example, I'm going to lose five- The goal situation is not for everyone. At the end of the day, uh, everyone has their own way to navigate through life. But it is good to know where you are heading towards. It's like having a GPS. If you don't have a GPS, nowadays, how can you get anywhere? Like, you need to know what what's your address what your final destination is because if you start driving without a direction again a goal 
how are you going to get there either first on time and second like at all you can expect that there will be hard times like when you accidentally trip and fall face first into a booth at ihop you see that every item is over a thousand calories and you get the temptation to say five of the most dangerous words in diet history you can pick from any of the following options a one cheat meal won't hurt b i'll actually start dieting tomorrow c i just won't eat later or d maybe i'll just start bulking all right so what he's saying there like you need to again have a mental kind of plan or at least this is what i'm getting out of this like if you are going to eat out and one of the big things with eating out is that you can eat something and again you don't know how many calories you're putting into because okay they say a number there but is it really a thousand calories so what kind of oil they're using how much oil they're using like those little things add up and if you are watching to this point you already know how to count macros or at least have an idea that macronutrients will change based on the amount that you're putting into it a lot of people have their preset answers to things when they come across with this the main one is like yeah you know i'll start my diet tomorrow uh, the amount of times that i've heard people talking about it in that sense is, is amazing it's insane and you don't have to do that you know you have to be a little bit flexible with that and have a again a goal in mind that you want to achieve and you want to hit and once you hit that goal you will be able to do little things in different ways like you can eat ice cream at night so i do that every night now because you know i have muscle and i'm not trying to get to certain body fat i am I'm, I'm good where i'm at so there is a time in your life that you can adjust your metabolism so you can eat whatever you want whenever you want if you can get to the point where you wake up and automatically go outside for a jog and you automatically reach for the strawberries and boiled eggs then the plan becomes a hundred times easier to follow and it'll keep getting easier every day you do it eventually you might even start to like eating healthy and exercising at which point like for many other people it's no longer a lifestyle choice see i gotta say something about this like it's not like oh you will end up liking eating healthy and exercising every food is healthy you just need to find the one that you like and you just eat it in moderation it's not about not eating the Cheetos or not eating uh, the fried chicken or whatever. It's about eating certain amount of fried chicken. The whole idea of like you need to take foods out of your diet so you can lose weight, that is actually not correct. You just need to eat less of a certain amount so you can reduce your body fat. That's it. There's no real accurate way to track it besides progress pictures and weighing yourself once a week. For the progress pictures, just know that you won't see much change in the first few weeks, and maybe not even in the first few months, because your body first prioritizes losing fat from places that you probably can't see. I'd like to disagree on that because you can see some difference in your body. And first of all, your skin will look way different once you start losing the water weight that you have retaining, because some people retain water in different areas. Some people retain water in their face, in their lower ways, whatever you'll see the difference within the next five, the, the first five days of you doing your changes. Change right away. So instead of looking at your day-to-day -day progress, just look at your average week-to-week -week progress. So you- 100% agree. Your average is what matters. Like if you are actually eating uh, every the same thing every day, at the end of the day, the weekly total amount of calories that you've been consuming versus the calories that you are letting out of your system is what will determine your weight loss again calories in versus calories out it's very simple very basic but those are things that they don't teach you in i don't know common sense world and when it comes to training i do have a lot of videos here there's also a thousand youtube content creators that have a lot of good information that can help you in the training part but if you want something that comes out of me out of my brain i do have a free training program on my website you can download it for free uh, put the link down below in the description now if you do enjoy everything that i've been saying or if you don't understand what i'm saying ask it in the comment section because i can probably elaborate a little bit further there and help you more in your fitness journey if anything of course only if you're natural if you're not natural i don't want you here get the out of here thank you now make sure to hit the like button make sure to also watch this video because i think youtube says that you will like it and that's all i have for today stay natural see ya